Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 34 in chapter 6. In this one, we know the space shuttle do the circular motion around one planet, and the period t is given. Ask you to find the density. Is this term just like prove these problems? So first one, um, when we want to find the density, we can consider its mass divided by volumes. Do you agree? So volumes is easy, but how do you find the mass? Consider the gravitational force. So in this one, we can see uh, because the uh, space shuttle do the circular motion, so the central force must be the gravitational force equals the mass times the central acceleration. Agree? This uh, capital M is the mass for this planet. This uh, small m is just come from this uh, space shuttle. And it's a, well, this V is the speed. So now how can we find this V? It's easy because we consider the circular motion. For one complete cycle, the distance it covered is 2 pi r. The time taking is period t. So in this one, we can get the speed, distance divided by time taking. Right? Now we input the speed inside this equation and then make this term simplify. And we find the mass just equals this term. And also for this planet, the volumes is must in this equation. Just uh, this is very easy to understand. You can check the textbook. Now we find the density is mass divided by the volumes. So use this term divided by these terms, you find the final answer. Yes, exactly. We proved the density is a function only depend on the period, right? Now the B, the problem B tell you this period number is 85 minutes. Can you find the density? Sure, we just input this uh, a period inside, we get the final answer. See, this is how it works. Thank you.